Hello and welcome to Craftwatch, your weekly updates to the goings-on on the sanitarium.fm station server. I am your host, Predicted Cyborg. Hello. And so, coming up on today's show, we will be talking about the latest builds on the server, of course, as well as talking about rumours about Minecraft's 1.9 update and what it might entail, even rumours. But first... And so, item 1 uh, on our list today is arguably the most important. The server has actually been restarted, which means an entirely new server. Of course, on screen you are now seeing some brief sped up clips of when Lone was showing me around the first time, and there will be some more clips interspersed uh, throughout the show. I shall now just leave you with the rest of the video. The reason for the restart of the server was a desire to make sure that we were fully up to date with everything going on with the 1.8 updates. We want to keep our server updated for you, our players and our listeners and our viewers. If, remember, if you want to join the server, the address will be at the end of the show. And now to our second item of tonight. And so our second item of tonight is, of course, the new builds on the server, and they relate to the fact that the server has restarted. Because the server has restarted, our very own Lord Samurai has built a spawn house, along with paths and villages near the spawn, along with Scarlet Dragon having built a big sort of sand temple with her own village a little while off down the paths. So what we're showing you on screen now is a little tour going all the way through the spawn house, showing you many rooms and the inside of many chests, as well as a uh, little tour of Scarlet's sand house and sand temple village, which will be coming up after the clips of the spawn house tour. So sit back and enjoy while I show you the inside of the spawn house, including the path leading up to it, as well as the sand temple, the sand house, and the paths leading up to it as well. The reason that the spawn houses have been built is so that new players will have a place to set their spawn while they gather materials and before they go out into the world. Of course, when you do go out into the world, we do have to ask that you leave everything in the spawn house as it is. Those beds and the shelter around it has been provided for new players, so if you find that anybody has been taking the beds, uh, we won't be very happy. So, leave them be. Thank you.
And so to our last item of tonight, the Mojang section and rumours about 1.9 Minecraft. And so to our final item of tonight, as I said, Mojang section, we're talking about 1.9 and uh, what it could bring. I'm sure most of you will have been familiar with the April Fools update which came obviously on the 3rd of April and it was all about love and stuff and you know you started off with one heart and you basically touched animals to get more hearts and the creepers it were smiling and it exploded into hearts and it was very very weird but as part of that there was a QR code uh, coded in the snow which revealed the name for the next update 1.9 combat update not an awful lot is known about the update at the moment but uh, Various things have been alluded to via Mojang's staff members on Twitter. For example, one has, a, has tweeted a picture of new dark blocks, which at the moment the name and the origin of these blocks are not known. All is known is that they cannot actually be obtained. They cannot actually be obtained or naturally generated, and will have a visual effect on the world. Uh, stay tuned for more updates when we actually know what it is. Other things will include new cloud rendering system, a redo of the Ender Dragon boss to make it act a bit more like the console version, i.e. it will spit out purple um, sparks and some of the Ender Block crystals will have iron bars around them to further complicate things, as well as many, many other things including some changes which the Mojang staff hope will help modders, uh, well, to make mods for 1.9, and to be honest, that is probably a good thing, because, as I'm sure most of you know, if you keep up to date with these sorts of things, hardly any mods have updated to, to 1.8, because 1.8 was a heck of an update, and, oh my god, it's been, such, it's been a bit of a pain for those of us who like mods, like Minecraft, which arguably is uh, most of us, really. So yeah, 1.9. Various things are known, uh, but nothing too concrete at the moment, and we have no idea when it is actually going to be coming, although they have actually said that some of the recoding of various things could actually take a little while, so it's a fair bet to say don't expect it out too soon. And that does it for what the server's been up to this week. Reminder that our server is open to all players who want a little uh, chill out vanilla space to play Minecraft in and to just generally build. The address, in case you need the URL, is www.sanitarium.fm and it's exactly the same as the station's URL address, so if you know the website address, you will be able to get into the server. And if you have something that you want me to talk about during the next show, all you have to do uh, go look at the video description under this video and there is a link there to the topic where you can go and provide the details and if you put your stuff up there you might see it in the next show. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week. Bye bye. <laughs>